Hey there! For today's video, I'm going to be painting with the cheapest oil paint set I could find, and this cost me three pounds. It's cheap, and here are what the paints look like. I think I've picked lemur today, a little lemur. Let's get started. Where's my colored pencil? I am thinking of orange. Keep your eye on the pencil. Oh, I poked you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna see how this goes and whether or not I have enough paint. I think that's my main worry. Ah, uh, there, <laughs> it's there, it's there. Gotta move you. Let's put these on the palette. So we're gonna squeeze a little bit of the white. Very cool. It's very burnt orange. I'm gonna have to mix most of them in with the white. It's not a lot of white. <laughs> red, that's a nice red. This doesn't feel like oil paint. It's not perfection today, is it? No, it's not. Oh, that's, that's a, that's, that's purple. That's not pink, oh no. I hope I need purple. <laughs> Actually, no, I need pink, crap. A little bit of a yellow. Well, that's a nice yellow. Typically in painting, you do have two types of yellow, so I'm really glad that's here. You have a lemon yellow, and you have like a cadmium yellow, and the cadmium tends to have a bit more of an orange, vibrant tone to it. That tone of yellow is actually really good to have for mixing. Oh, that, that's gone bad. It's gone bad. It's got oil coming out the top. Ah! You can tell oil paints are starting to go a bit past their date when they've got like this hard yellow stuff form around it. That's got some of that. Oh, this one had a big air pocket in it, so it's really half full. <laughs> this is kind of like an aquamarine color. No, it's not, that's just green. Um, <laughs> I'm going off the colors out there, that's not right. Now we go for a bit of the brown. It's done that thing where sometimes you get like a nice rich brown and then you get a reddish brown. Not that the reddish brown's bad. It's, it's red. Red looks a bit like wood. Like an ivory black too, it's not a black black. Anyway, I'm being picky. Overall, I'd say it's pretty good. Let's sketch this out. And here we go. Starting with his face, I'm placing the darker tones here first because I want it to look shadowed. I realize I've probably gone with a more complicated piece than I should have for these paints. The first thing I noticed when using them is that they don't spread very easily. The best way I can describe it is it's like having to scratch the color into the canvas. It blends a bit well when you first place it, but it appears to dry a lot quicker than my proper oil paints and gives off this chalky effect. To me, it kind of resembles pastels and I'm not very good at working with pastels. I'm adding less details to start out because I just want to get the general colors down first. And I am painting a lemur today. This is based on one that I saw in my local zoo. I tend to go to my zoo for inspiration and animal pieces because they have animals. Simple solution. <laughs> and I tend to just go in with my sketchbook and sketch the animals, so it's a lot of fun. Working with these paints is a bit funny to me because I don't think I've ever worked with cheaper oil paints before, but I have worked with cheap acrylics. And often I'll pick the cheaper acrylics over the fine art ones. I just like it. I, I like the craft acrylic paint. And sometimes by other artists and things, I do get poked fun out for that, but I just like the craft acrylic paints. I like how they cover a lot of space and they're not too hard to blend, they're easy to mix. If it's more for fun and pleasure, I'd always recommend the cheaper ones. They do work just as well. That being said, cheaper paint does tend to be a bit less vibrant. It doesn't hold its color as well when it dries. More often than not, it is very runny and not heavy bodied in texture. So for a proper piece, it does require more layers. And the texture of the paint makes it harder to spread, which out of all of those, that's the one I'm struggling with here. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see that because this is sped up quite a bit. Though I have slowed it down from my normal rate, normally I'm just down in 30 seconds and we're already going on two minutes, cool. The idea behind this piece is the lemur is poking out behind a tree. With this tree, I'm having it so the bark looks like it's gone off in a few areas. And the paint, it's starting to chalk up a bit. <laughs> uh, so I really need to mix some linseed oil or something in it to make it spread better, but we're just going with the paints today. Before adding more details on him, I'm gonna do the background. For the background, I'm gonna paint it pinupal. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a mixture of pink, blue, and purple, but a bit heavier on the blue. And the clouds, I'm doing strawberry clouds, and I do like making clouds with oil paint. It is, it's so easy. I just, I can't describe how easy it is. So for the clouds, I am using pink and yellow tones and some darker purple tones. Kind of matching the tones in the tree here and the tones on his highlights. And then I'm trying to add some hair details to him, but the paint underneath has dried quite a bit for oil paint, and therefore doing fine hair details is just not gonna happen, not gonna happen as much as I'd like it to. <laughs> uh, we're 
we're going to paint a wood board and for wood tones you just mix white and cream and brown and you streak them together, don't blend them very well. You want that streak to come through. Then we're putting the words lemur life. In case people can't tell it's a lemur and just think it's a demon creature because that's the face it's kind of making, but it's okay. It's alright. Add a little scratched in lemur graphic and I'd say we're about set. I've enjoyed doing this, but I do think I'm going to go over this with my proper oil paints and make them look a lot better. <laughs> but for the video's purpose, this is what I've done. This is, this is what I've achieved. Uh, yeah, so that was me painting with some really cheap oil paint. Cool. It's fine. It'll get better. <laughs> I just, I do have my oil paints that I do like. Ones I use like on this one. I'm very like critiquey. I do have my golden pin giveaway, so please leave a nice comment down below. And I will see you guys again sometime soon. I don't know what day. I keep messing up my days. Just know that one day during the week, there will be a video. I'm shooting for Mondays right now, but any support helps. Just, just know I'm not very reliable. Good. Okay, bye. Bye, so bye.